Hi guys, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm Raging DJ and I'm here to present to you Dito Telecommunity Share Swap. So pag-uusapan natin ang mga details about Share Swap, possible advantages and disadvantages as well as mabibigay tayo ng example na isang company na karoon ng Share Swap in the past and titignan natin yung naging price action ng company na to. So let's go guys. So disclaimer lang guys, all information came from the official Dito disclosures from the PSE Edge. I am not affiliated with Dito CME Holdings. So yan guys, napakainit na balita sa Dito Telecommunity as well as Dito CME Holders, especially madaming hawak sa stock market. Just this March 10, 2021, naglabas ang disclosure si Dito CME and you could access the, this disclosure at PSE Edge para kung gusto nyo basahin ang kompletong disclosure. So dito, in-update niya, ah, sinabi na sa investing public ang details ng kanyang share swap kung saan i-acquire ni Dito CME Corporation ang kanyang 100% share ng Udena CME Holdings Corporation kung saan inoon nito ang Dito Telecommunity. So, uh, bubusisigin natin guys kung ano yung laman ng disclosure na to and didiscuss ko sa inyo ano nga ba ang share swap and basics about share swap. So, ayan guys, so doon muna tayo sa basics kung ano nga ba ang share swap. So, usually this happens during an acquisition. The company doing the takeover offers its own shares at a predetermined rate in exchange for the shares in the company it aims to acquire. So, basically guys, so simple terms, Ang nangyayari ang share swap kung isang kumpanya gusto niyang bilin ang isang kumpanya. So in this case, si Dito CME gusto niya bilin ang shares ni Udena CME or the UCME. So in this transaction, makakaroon tayo ng tinatawag nating fair swap ratio. So i-disclose ng company kung ilang shares ang i-offer niya sa binibili niyang company in exchange for the shares na ibibigay niya sa mga shareholder. So, medyo magulo pa doon guys, so, pero magbibigay tayo ng examples in the next slides para mas malinaw ang mga definitions na to. So, again, another um, important point is that in order to make the share exchange appealing, the acquiring company usually offers the shareholders of the other company a premium. So, in short, yung isang kumpanya na binibili ang another company, mag-offer siya ng magandang share swap ratio para ma-entice yung other company na ibenta yung mga shares niya sa company na bumibili. Okay? So, example. Ito guys. So, kung hindi nyo naitindihan yung mga definitions kanina, kung medyo malabo o magulo, ito, bibigyan natin ng clear example na maiintindihan natin na mas madali. So, example. Meron tayong dalawang company. Company A and Company B. Example. Company A wants to buy Company B in a share swap. So, ang buyer dito would be Company A at ang company B ang nagbebenta. So, in this case, company A gives company B's shareholder a center, certain number of its own shares for each share of company B stock they own. Okay? So, ito guys, ito, makikita natin. Ito, nakabitan natin ng figures. Again, company A ang buyer at company B ang binibiling kumpanya. Okay? Company A is buying company B. So, example, magkaroon tayo ng shares of operation ng 1,120 is to 1. So, in a 1,120 for one swap, Company B shareholder with 100 shares would end up with 112,000 shares of Company A. So, tandaan nyo guys, pag ito example ko dito, 1,120 is to 1. So, paano natin papasimplihin ito? Isipin mo na lang, kunyari ang Company B, kunyari stockholder ka ng Company B, tapos meron kang 100 shares ng Company B. Since binibili ng Company A sa Company B, tapos ito ang naging ratio, i-multiply mo ulit 100 sa 1,120 at ang magiging shares mo sa company A would be 112,000 shares. So, ganun kataas ang iaakit ng shares ng mga shareholder ng company B pag binili siya ng company A. So, makikita natin dito guys sino ang may advantage whether the shareholders of company A or company B. So, the company B stock is cancelled kasi binenta na, na sa company A and it's no longer exists as a separate entity. Kasi nga, binenta na niya ang kumpanya niya o yung shares niya sa company A. Okay? So, sa example ko na binigay kanina guys, ang company A doon would be Dito CME at ang company B would be Odena CME with a fair swap ratio of 1,120 is to 1 shares. Ayan ang nilabas sila sa disclosures nila. 
Okay? So, ito to. I-apply na natin. Kapitan na natin ng definition ng company A and B. So, example, ang Odena CME Corporation, madami ang stockholders. Example, meron ka 100 shares ni Odena CME Corporation. So, pag nag after the share swap, with this swap ratio of 1,120 to 1, magkakaroon ng mga shareholders o Odena CME Corporation ng 1,120 shares is to 1. Okay? So, example, meron ka 100 stocks uh, shares ni Odena CME. After the share swap, magkakaroon ka ng 112,000 shares of Dito CME. So, makikita mo guys, ang mangyaring share swap na to, para sa akin, nakikita ko na napaka-advantageous ito those with you Udena CME shares. Bakit? Kasi nga, ang one share nila katumbas ng 1,120 shares sa Dito CME. So, pag inaccumulate lahat ng shares sa Dito CME kasi dyan nila ilalagay ang kanilang Dito Telecom, yung kanilang nilunch as well as the franchise na approve ay di tataas ang presyo at, at magiging multiplier effect kasi nga dadami yung shares nila. Okay? And as we all know, Udena CME guys, it cannot be traded in the stock market. So, possibly, yung mga private investors sila as well as yung mga officers ang may shares na hawak dito. So, sila, ang makikita natin guys, masasabi natin na advantage sa kanila yan. Kasi nga, tataas o dadami ang kanilang number of shares given this share swap ratio. Okay? It is very advantageous position for the shareholders of the target firm which is the Udena CME as they get a premium. Okay? So, nakita nyo, 1,120 is to 1. For the acquirer's firm, which is the Dito CME shareholders, it leads to a dilution of the intrinsic value of the share in the short term. So, kayo na siguro mag-judge or i-aralin pa yung other details about the share swap. Pero ang malinaw dito is that, mas dadami ang hawak na shares ng mga mero, yung mga Udena CME shareholders after the share swap. So, ito guys, magbibigay tayo ng example kung ano naging price movement ng San Miguel Corporation nung nag-announce siya ng share swap noong 2018. So, this news was taken from Manila Times. So, San Miguel completes 336 billion share swap deal. That this was on 2018. So, I checked on PSE Edge kung ano yung naging disclosure nila and the share swap was approved on October 24, 2018. So, ang naging details ito guys, so, sa summarize ko na lang, that the San Miguel Corporation would acquire 7.8 billion shares of San Miguel Brewery Incorporation or the SMB as well as 216 million shares of Ginebra San Miguel Incorporation or GSM. So, ayun yung mga price na sinabi nila ay 41.38 pesos as well as 51.30 pesos respectively. So, nakakaroon siya ng share swap. So, kumbaga, bibili ni San Miguel Corporation ang shares ni San Miguel Brewery as well as Ginebra San Miguel. So, I went through Investagram and get the chart of San Miguel Corporation and binalikan ko sila no 2018. During November 2018, na complete yung ano yung share swap deal. So, makikita natin dito guys, na during around uh, July to September, medyo umakit yung price niya. From 145, umabot ng 170 plus. Pero nung nang approve yung share swap deal, makikita nyo dito that there, there were two large red candles. So, from 175 pesos, bumagsak ang price niya to 160 hanggang bumagsak to around 140 pesos. So, possibly, this could be the effect of the share swap deal in the San Miguel Corporation. However, uh, short term lang yan. No? Nakita nyo after niya bumagsak ng two red big, big red candles after ilang months, medyo nag-accumulate siya. Then, uh, strong uptrend. Nakita nyo naman, it skyrocketed up to around 180 pesos tapos bago siya nag-consolidate ulit. So, possibly, makikita natin guys na ang share swap deal, makakaroon siya talaga ng short term na effect na possibly na madilute ang price at bumagsak pa based on San Miguel Corporation. However, I'm not saying that ito ang mangyayari sa Dito CME because San Miguel Corporation and Dito CME are entirely two different corporations as well as they're dif uh, dealing with different products. As well as we are on different times right now. We are in a pandemic as well as the econom economy is um, the economy is not well, uh, the economy is not good at this moment. So possibly we, we need to wait further for some of the news as well as the, the disclosures of this Dito CME and observe muna natin ang, kanil, ang, ang kanya price action. So 
Ano mga ba yung uh, uh, important points sa may disclosure ni dito si Amy? So, sinabi na dito guys, i-highlight ko na lang kung ano yung mahalaga dun sa disclosure that dito CME will issue 11.2 billion common shares at an issue price of 6.11 pesos per share. Okay? So, ang pinakamahalaga lang dun na gusto kong i-highlight is that this will translate to an actual swap ratio of 1,120 to 1 or 1,120 D2 CME shares for every share of Udena CME or the UCME. So again, ito yung binagay ko example kanina and yung example kong yun is the actual swap ratio na mangyayari sa dito CME. So kung gusto nyo balikan yung video, balikan nyo lang para mas maintindihan nyo kung ano yung possible na maging um, movement as well as uh, effect nitong swap ratio na to. So on that, so mas madali maintindihan, for every one share that Udena CME shareholders own, it would be converted to 1,120 dito CME shares. Example, Si Juan de la Cruz, mayroon siyang pag-aari na one share na Odena CME. After the share swap, na-execute ng share swap, Juan de la Cruz will now own 1,120 shares of D2 CME. So, tatanungin ko kayo, sino ang may advantage dito? Si Juan de la Cruz ba? O yung mga stockholder ni D2 CME? So, possibly, pareho, both. Pero ang mas malaking advantage dito would be Juan de la Cruz Bakit? Ang one share niya ng Udena CME naging 1,120 shares of Dito CME. And again, Udena CME stockholders cannot be, uh, hindi siya trade sa public. So, ang mga owner ng stock na to would be private investors as well as their officers. So, ano ba yung naging um, swap ratio? Ano ba yung naging basis ng swap ratio ni Dito CME? Again, if you will be reading their disclosure, ito yung naging summary. So, they use the VWAP, NAV, as well as the DCF calculation in order to get the proper valuation of the companies. So, for Dito CME, using the VWAP, ang fair value niya would be 6.26 pesos per share and using the NAV calculation, 1.49 pesos per share. Ang Odena CME naman, using the DCF, it's around 7,760 pesos per share and the NAV calculation would be around 8,973 pesos per share. So, ang ginawa nila, gumawa sila ng table para i-compute ang ratio ng v, um, Dito CME as well as Udeno CME. And ang naging summary nito is that Dito CME will only issue 1,120 shares for every UCME share. So, ito yung naging basis ng share swap ratio nila na kanina ko pa sinasabi na I think would be the most important um, point in their disclosures. So, in the plan share swap transaction, Dito CME will only issue 1,100 shares for every UCME share, which is lower than what the company would otherwise issue following our valuation. Hence, ito'y sinabi nila, we are of the opinion that the actual swap ratio of 1,120 is to 1 is advantageous to the shareholders of Dito CME. So, possibly, ito yung kanilang point of view. Pero pag hihimayin natin yung uh, share swap ratio, makikita natin dito possibly na mas ma-advantageous ang shareholders ng Odena CME kasi nga, ang one share nila magiging 1,120 shares. So, dadami ang shares nila. And possibly makakaroon ng short-term dilution sa price before mag-stabilize uh, and it would go up again. Again, ayun sinabi nila, this was taken from their actual disclosures. But again, based on the my understanding as well as yung pinakita yung example kanina, mas magiging advantageous pa rin ang Odena CME shareholders. So, again, ano ba, bakit ko ba ini-emphasize ito? Kasi, kasi pag titignan mo yung stock market, ang dito CME, ito lang ang stock ng dito na pwede mong i-trade sa stock market. Ang Odena CME or the UCME cannot be traded in the stock market. Ibig sabihin, ang mga owners ng stock or yung mga stockholders ng company na to would be private investors, officers, as well as other individuals. Pero the public investors, especially us na nagtitrade everyday, weekly, or monthly, hindi natin matitrade yan. Uh, so, ito, papakita ko sa inyo yung magiging structure ng dito CME before the share swap and after the share swap. So, this was taken as well from their disclosures in the previous months ago. So, yung pinaplano pa lang nila share swap. So, dito muna tayo sa before the share swap. So, makikita natin dito is that again, the UCME na sinabi ko kanina or the Udena CME owns everything about dito. Dito Holdings and as well as dito Telecommunity uh, kung saan uh, meron silang partnership with the China Telecommunications Corporation. 
However, sinabi ko nga sa inyo that Udena CME cannot be traded in the public. Ang mga stockholders to would be private individuals, private investors, other investors, as well as their officers. Kaya, ang ginawa nila, nag-share swap sila para ipasok nila ang D2CME, which is the company that could be traded in the Philippine stock market. Ito, matitrade na, na kahit sinong investor, trader, stock market. Ayun ang purpose sila. So, kung titignan mo sa next figure after the share swap, pumasok na ngayon, yung binulugan ko dito would be the D2CME. So again, nag 100% ownership na dito CME, si Odena CME. Ayun yung naging transaction nila sa share swap. So ang, ang, in principle, ang naiba lang dito guys is that dito CME, bibili lang niya ang 100% uh, uh, ownership ng Odena CME para ma-own niya si dito holding as well as the dito telecommunication corporation. So ayun yung malinaw sa atin ngayon guys. So guys, thank you for listening. Hope you learned a lot. So if you like the video and the review, don't forget to click the subscribe button on the lower right portion of your screen. Thank you guys for listening. Hi guys, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.